Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Ultimate Birthday has brought evolutions back to their glory on this game, guys, with another insane Evo drop yesterday that you have to do. It also gives us the chance to upgrade somebody who hasn't got an Evo all year long, a very meta attacker in that Evo. We're going to talk about that. Plus, today, Sunday, the content's going to go crazy again with a Makalele Icon SBC, which we know that EA has told us about already, but also an Icon Player Pick SBC has been rumored by leakers to be one that will not include base icons for the first time this year. How is that going to impact the market that's already struggling? We have a lot to talk about today, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Let's go to the SBCs because, man, there was a ton of SBCs yet again yesterday on this game. I thought we were done with the Showdown series. We had two more Showdown SBCs dropped yesterday amidst all the Ultimate Birthday Madness. We have Miguel Almiron from Newcastle and Rodrigo Bentancourt from Tottenham Hotspur. Guys, this game is not until April 13th. It is a long time away, and they make you do the SBC in the next six days. Um, I mean, 87 rated is not the best. You do get two playstyle pluses. Almiron's got the five-star skills and the Finesse Plus playstyle, which is cool. He is also the cheaper of the two SBCs, um, and probably the one that if people are going to do one, especially after how Spurs played yesterday against Fulham, everybody's going to be looking at this Almiron. Now, personally, I'm going to go for Ben Tenkora with the Tiki Taka and the Bruiser. Uh, Five-star weak foot as well, but that's just because I am a Spurs fan. 135k for Ben Tenkora and 35k for Almiron. So, yeah, there's that. Here's the problem, though. I wish this was released... Uh, or at least I hope there's an Evo at the stage of this game where you'll be able to upgrade the showdowns again because the showdown upgrade Evo expires way before this game uh, will be played. So that was kind of random, honestly, content yesterday because I wasn't expecting more showdowns after we had a showdown every day for the past week. But we got one anyways. Now, to the ultimate birthday content, we have Yoshida, right? We knew he was coming. It's on the EA list of SBCs to come out throughout this next week. This is a must-do. Like, I mean, there's no contest here, guys. It is an 88-rated card, and the SBC cost 17K, which is literally an 84-rated squad, which is fodder price for 88. So whenever you have some extra 84s lying around, go get yourself this Yoshida card. Medium-high, 5-star, weak foot, and all defending playstyles except for Jockey, but he has Aerial Plus. This is a really, really nice card. He's got Anticipate, Intercept Plus, really cool card here. If you have Sawa, you have links there. If you have any MLS cards... Links there. No complaint. That's a must do just because it is so cheap. Now, the big SBC yesterday was this one, man. And I'm so happy that we finally had an icon player SBC that was not leaked. Roberto Carlos Future Stars. I don't know why it's not showing his dynamic image right now on the card. It looks a little bit weird. But this is the Future Stars version of Roberto Carlos. This guy was 2 million coins just a couple days ago. And now he's 1.4 mil on the market because so many people are looking at this SBC as one that they want to grind towards and craft towards. Right now with all the packs, they even dropped more packs to, to do in upgrade packs yesterday in the menus. With all the craftability of the menus right now, this SBC SBC, albeit not a deal, I guess you could say, it is the potential and it gives you the opportunity and the potential to craft basically a left back that you could use until like June. Like, come on guys, Roberto Carlos, 92 rated with these sorts of stats. Yeah, he doesn't have five star skills, but he has dead ball plus, he's got energizer plus, he's got incredible play styles on the rest of the card. He's got rapid, he's got whipped pass, long ball, power shot, and of course, He's got 99 shot power, long shots, curve, uh, free kick accuracy. If you want a Roberto Carlos, like this is regarded as one of the best left backs in the game every single year, here's a craftable version of him that you can go and do. But it's one that you're going to have to put some grind into. It's 15 squads to get done. And again, is the SBC great value? It's really coming in at the same price that he was on the market before this came out, or maybe 100k less, because it's 1.9 million coins. So it's not a really big deal. It's just the menus are so craftable right now, and this is such a worth it card to be crafting that you could use for a long time that a lot of people are doing it. Look at this card, man. From 2 mil down to 1.4 on the market. It's showing me that a lot of people are wanting to go and do this SBC. Also, take a look at some of these other very meta, especially for the more expensive left backs in the game. Team of the Year Karchawi going from 2 million coins down to 1.7, under 1.7. That's a crazy drop. That tells me a lot of people are doing this SBC. It's not one that I think I'm going to commit to right away. 
but it is a very, very good SBC to craft. You guys have been asking for an SBC to craft and to chip away at over time. That's your SBC right there. Now, oh, I forgot my ultimate birthday daily login. Let me do this really fast. Uh, also yesterday, we had a bunch of those daily gold, bronze, silver, um, and the premium bronze and silver upgrade packs re added to the game. I guess the old ones expired and they refreshed them basically with new versions. So that is nice to have those back in the game. Make this your reminder once again to do your ultimate birthday daily login. This is day four, I believe. Today on Sunday will be day five, which I don't think we get a reward for actually, which is a little interesting. But for the upgrade packs yesterday, uh, we had a crafting upgrade. Guys, we have an 80 plus player pick right now. We have an 80 plus times three, and now we have a crafting upgrade, which in my opinion, I'm going to stay away from at least until the player pick goes away uh, because I think the 80 plus times three and the player pick is better than this. It requires one rare and 11 golds. It's the same requirements as the 80 plus times three. Um, you just get extra rewards for doing this SBC over time. And the rewards are decent. If you go in here to the live tab and you go to the uh, crafting, um, where's it at? Crafting upgrade completionist. You get a couple of special cards throughout doing this. And then of course you get your rather, your regular fodder packs. There's a dirt kite hero card in here. There's a ultimate dynasty slaughter back. There's a Guler, Arta Guler from future stars and uh, Joe Gomez towards the end, Lamptey and winter wild cards, David Alaba at the very end. So you get some good packs along the way and an 8320 for doing it. But I think for right now, until there aren't any better packs to have, um, in the upgrades, like if there's not an 80 plus player pick or an 80 plus times three that is out, uh, I would do those first, but this I'm going to pass on until there's not a better upgrade pack to do is basically what I'm trying to say. So that was our first upgrade pack yesterday. We also had the 82 times 20, but they changed the requirement. Remember this SBC was always kind of frowned upon because it required two squads. Now all it re requires is one squad, but an 85 rated squad at that still a little steep in my opinion. It's still, it's 69% upvoted. People like it because it is an SBC that you can very easily craft with the player picks that like everybody is doing right now or the 80 plus triple upgrade. So it is very craftable, but it's still a little bit more expensive than I would like it to be. If it was like an 80, 84 and maybe an inform, I would be, I think like that better than the 85. 85 rating is just a little bit harder to get, but it is what it is. I haven't tried any of those to see how good they are. And you can also only do it once a day, really. All right, that's a little bit of an L. I would have loved to do that twice a day. Only once a day is a little bit of a bummer. Um, man, bring back to 83 times 10 for sure. But that was dropped yesterday as well. I think Team of the Weeks are down a little bit on the market. Quick shout out for Team of the Weeks. I would sell those um, because the main reason that those are still propped up in price is obviously because of the Encore Icon upgrade, which does go away today. So unless this comes back, which I don't think I would expect it to come back with another Icon player pick coming, I would probably sell tradable team of the week's last call. I think those are like 36 or 37K. They might stay up in value a little bit, but with all of the packs that are in the store, the tradable packs that you can get right now anyways from like the challenge SBCs, this uh, the flash challenge, which is still available right? Um, I think I would sell those team of the weeks just to be safe. But those are all the SBCs that we had yesterday. Now we got to go to evolutions, guys, because this is the content that really made things go crazy again. Two days in a row with nuts evolutions. Of course, we had the jack of all trades and we had the weak foot peak. But yesterday we had birthday magic, another five star skill move upgrading Evo, which gives you flair and the rapid plus playstyle plus, like rap, uh, rapid is really, really insane. The skill move upgrade is really, really insane as well. This is definitely an Evo that is best for the attackers and it's free and we get to do it twice, man. I mean, this is incredible, guys. It's a 71% upvoted Evo. I guess maybe the only bad thing about it is they're kind of capping these Evos recently. As you can see, overall max 85. That's I close. I, if it was max 86 or 7, there'd be a lot of cards available for this and it would be even more scary. But the fact that this is even 85 rated in the boost that you get, plus 3 pace, 2 shooting, 2 passing, 4 dribbling, and 2 physical. That's a big dribbling boost and even a big uh, pace boost for cards that are already 90 pace. You can create a 93 pace card here with Felipe Anderson. This is a crazy Evo and it gives you another chance to Evo previously upgraded cards. I had not checked my club yet. No way. I can give Alessane Drini. Wait, he doesn't fit the evolution because he has more than eight playstyles. Are you kidding me, bro? Nah, this card has like 10 playstyles, man. Oh, no. I was going to put him into this. Oh, okay. Javi Simons. Oh, that's actually very disappointing. I was so hoping to put Alessane Drini into this. All right. 
anyways, um, I, I believe there are some very, very popular gold cards that can go into this, however. Uh, Richarlison, I'm going to have to... I think it's glitching out on me right now. I couldn't see my cursor. Man, I was so hoping that Alessandrini would go into that. I literally didn't go into the Evo as I sat down on console just to see who from my club would fit it. Nah, why does he show up in the search, man, if he's not even going to fit it? Come on, EA. Don't get my hopes up like that. Um, guys, the biggest card that a lot of people are putting into this Evo is the main man himself, Marcus Rashford. That is why this Evo has got a lot of hype right now as well. You had Varane yesterday in weak foot peak, and now you've got this one, Birthday Magic, with Rashford. His card's going extinct. You know what's crazy about this? Before you're like, nah, Nate, Rashford's not worth it to put in this. I beg to differ, okay? Rashford's already got the five-star skills, so the five-star skills doesn't upgrade his card. But the stat upgrade that you get, plus the playstyle plus of Rapid Plus, the card you're ending up with is a double playstyle plus, Power Shot Rapid. He's got Technical Flare Quick Step. You get the boosted stats. And when you compare this card to his Centurions, which was just 460k or 440k on the market before it tanked yesterday, as everybody's doing this Evo and the ones who had this card selling it, it's actually not that far off. Like, it's literally a plus three shooting difference, one passing and one physical in the stats that matter from this card. And this card's what, 400k? And this one's free. And just some games and champs and, and squad battles. That's a dub, right? That is a big W in my book for the Rashford. There's plenty of other good cards that fit in this Evo. There's actually a double Evo you can do right now. If you get gold Renato Sanchez, which you're going to have to pack him because he's extinct as well. You can get Rapid Plus and Jockey Plus, 5-star, five 5-star, five Renato Sanchez with uh, pretty good stats. He's also just one of those players that kind of plays above his stat values anyway. And the play styles that you get on that, again, Rapid and Jockey Plus. I mean, I don't know if that's worth it, but those are two free evolutions if you want a cracked Renato that you could go and get. Uh, your Rente, uh, I guess the Javi Simons that was in my club as well is one that's very popular uh, for that Evo there. And of course, this this uh, Centurion's Correa against going crazy for this Evo too. There's plenty of options out here, guys, to put in this evolution. So that's what I love about it is a lot of you guys are going to be able to put in cards like stuff like this that you maybe have not Evoed yet or um, you have Evoed and you haven't been able to upgrade for a while. That's why I checked out the Alessandrini. And even though it didn't fit, this Richarlison doesn't look good enough of a boost for me. Uh, Mukhtar, you know, solid but not amazing. I really needed the Alessandrini to fit, man. If he would have fit, this Evo would have been crazy for me. But there's plenty of regular cards that fit this too. Oh, yeah, even some of the unused um, cards. What about this Almada? He might be kind of cracked. Um, eh, 89 pace, 88 dribbling with Rapid Plus. Okay, that's okay. Man, I'm so bummed about Alessandrini. Why does he have to have so many playstyles, bro? Anyways, uh, that is a W Evo. And guys, there's still rumors of that massive Evo to come out today that can make things even crazier. So we're going to talk more about Evos. But as you look across the market, uh, you can tell that these Evos are really impacting prices, not only of the prices of the players that you put into it, right? But the prices of the players that people are uh, replacing these players with, right? Like so many people are trying to get a gold Rashford right now through upgrade packs because there's no special version of Rashford in packs. This one was in packs last week, but now it's just his gold card. You're going to have to get him through like an 80 to 20 or an 81 plus player pick to put him into that Evo um, or pack him somehow, right? So many people are going after these cards and they're extinct, but at the same time, so many cards on the market keep dropping and it just does not look like the market's going to stop dropping, especially with how today's content potentially looks. It doesn't look good for other middle to high tier special cards, specifically the middle to high tier, because even this Messi card who I bought for 750, right, for Weekend League, he's like 710,000 coins. It's just cards like that that continue to drop just a little bit more every single day because the new content that comes out is just absolutely crazy. Now, prices that actually matter are these foot birthday cards, and these matter big time, which actually, I was just able to pick up a crazy snipe on a Benzema because Footbin has his price updated four hours ago. I think Footbin's having some issues with price updates right now. Um, I'm sure this will get resolved fast because this is very rare. Like, their price updating system almost is never down, and right now on Footbin, it is down. So Benzema on the market was still right around like 1.6 million coins just a bit ago. There's a couple undercuts there because he keeps showing as like 1.49. Um, Araujo was up at 1.4 and now he's 1.26. Who is another one? Jota. Yeah, Jota shows as 1 million coins, right? 1.02. But if I go look at Jota right now on the market, um, I think he's like 1.1 mil or he was like literally 5, 10 minutes ago when I looked. 
Yeah, 1.095. So some of these prices are a little bit messed up. I don't think that's going to last for long. But speaking of these prices, holy, did they go up yesterday, man. Take a look at this Jota yesterday. He went from 1 million coins right bottom. I sold him too early. My card sold like right here as he was going up. He went all the way to 1.4 mil, kind of came back down to 1.1. But you can see these cards, they have so much demand. Uh, Rodrigo, I think Rodrigo went to like 1.7 mil yesterday or something. Both versions. 1.4 all the way to 1.9. Then down to 1.4. Uh, what about this version? The five-star skills, Rodrigo. How high did he go? Yesterday, he went from 1.6. Okay, kind of peaked here at 2 mil. I doubt he really sold there much. But like these cards have so much demand, guys. They are moving a ton in price. Uh, I think the Benzema, to go back and look at that card again from yesterday... He went from 1.5 lows all the way to 1.8 mil. That's crazy, right? People really, really, really want to play with these cards. They really want to use them, try them out in game because the stats are crazy. Uh, the players, again, themselves um, are pretty crazy as well. You just be careful with them because I think today's content could drop them a little bit, but they could be moving very, very strong. I've even spent some more coins in the last couple of hours trying to flip these cards. I have a Benzema right now, and then I picked up a Rodrigo. This is the five-star weak foot version. Uh, I picked him up for 1.38, and right now he's about 1.414 flat on the market. So I'm hoping that he gets rare again this morning and that he can go up some more. Uh, but I'm lazy listing because if somebody thinks that's the five-star skill version, I might end up getting a good sale because that's like just a little bit cheaper than the five-star skill move version. So hoping for a little bit of a lazy sale on that. But those cards and, of course, the icons are moving well on the market. They are down a bit, as expected, right? Blanc was 1.9. Now he's 1.3. If that's his actual price, again, footbin prices are a little bit off today. But they did very, very well yesterday. But I think as we get to content again, I would be very careful with those cards today on Sunday with what we are supposed to get. So be careful with that. Um, also, one little tidbit of information, I guess you would say, is EA tweeted multiple times yesterday on their direct communication account that the daily objective was not refreshing um, of some sort of way. They also tweeted that there was a... What was it? Uh, we have addressed an issue where unintended player items were coming out of the 87 plus campaign player pick. Impacted players will receive a new player pick in the coming days. Oh, that's a brand new tweet. Okay, so there's compensation. They tweeted four times yesterday. The, the campaign player pick, the daily objective, they disabled FC points on the companion app on Android. That was probably fixed very fast. And then they also said, we have addressed an issue where the ultimate team champs rewards were not providing a campaign mixed player pack. So there's compensation like... In small areas, it's not like a, happening to a lot of people, I think. But four tweets yesterday is pretty crazy. So if any of that impacted you, I guess there is going to be some compensation that is loading for that. Now, let's talk today. Sunday. Big day. We already mentioned it. The Icon Encore upgrade is going bye-bye, right? What an SBC this was for the low price just to have a chance at crafting a cheap Icon pack. Very fun SBC. It's going bye-bye, right? What is returning, supposedly is potentially the biggest icon pick of the year. Guys, this is FIFA Trading Romania. He said the upcoming casino, aka icon player pick, should be an icon pick. And the best thing is that base versions have been removed. We've already seen this player pick, guys. But it's not until level 40 of the current season. And that is his leak right there saying that that's going to come as SBC probably today, right? Sundays or the icon player pick or the hero player pick days. But this is the player pick right here he'd be talking about. Centurions, Dynasties, Thunderstruck, Winter Wildcards, Team of the Year icon player pick. If that is an SBC today, which I'm not going to take this for 100% validity and say that it's coming today. Again, this guy is almost all the time, right? So it's very possible that it does come today. But I'm, you know, we're going to take it with a pinch of salt as always because that that would fit the trend of how this content is going with uh, how good the content has been during Ultimate Birthday so far. But we'll just be a little bit careful in believing it. If that comes today, right? We'll just say if. If that comes today, um, that is going to be a very hyped icon pick. Imagine no base cards in it. Um, you have a chance to pack the Team of the Years, the Thunderstrucks. Yes, there will be probably some Centurion cards with a very high weight. Maybe some of the Ultimate Dynasty icons with a very high weight as well. Um, you know, that are going to take over those packs a lot. So you really are going to be looking for the winter wild cards and for the team of the year icons. But just the, the fact that you have a chance of packing a special version of an icon, no more base icons, is pretty dope. And that, that actually lowers the player pool a lot. Um, I'm sure that almost all of the special icons, including like these fodder ones, like the, the Barnes, 
the Hierro, the Loudrop. He's not that fodder, but Raquel May, they're going to be in the pick as well. I don't know what the rating will be on it, but that's going to be a very hyped player pick, guys. Let's talk about how it's going to impact the market. Fodder. Fodder, even though they're running the crazy lightning rounds, guys, EA dropped like the 86 plus packs, the 85 sevens, I think the 84 10 and the 88 plus, the tradable ones were all dropped again yesterday. But I think people are starting to invest in this stuff just a little bit. 88s are about 16 and a half K, which is up from their low point of like 15,000 coins. They're not up much because we're still getting that supply in, right? But there's a lot of potential demand that is coming with the SBC for that icon pick today. But also, I would say the fact that we got that Roberto Carlos SBC yesterday and that we have had, you know, like the, the Socrates recently and those SBCs, even Coman, that have very high rated squads in them, like the 88, the 89, and the 90 rated squads. If we're talking about high rated fodder, which is still probably my favorite place to invest in fodder on this game, and it moves, has the most likelihood to move, I think the 88s and above. I mean, maybe it is time for a bit of a club stock. When is that demand going to start to outweigh the supply? That's the question, right? How much would an icon player pick that doesn't have bases in it, that EA know would be super crazy hype, that everybody's going to want to do, how much is that going to cost? Probably a couple hundred K, right? So I have to imagine that at least this is the no risk play or very small risk play. I mean, 85s or 89s, sorry, at 26,000 coins. 88 at like under 16k if you can get them i mean 16 flat here that's probably you can get some on bid if ea run those lightning rounds again later today like 16k that's a price that i'm fine with just buying one and putting it on my transfer list oh i have a kimmich in the club that's good to know you know like that sort of thing is what i would be doing right now if you want to spend some coins on fodder and just be potentially buying a little bit of fodder to lazy list and then try to make some coins on in the next couple of days maybe this is oh 12k Oh, yeah, I was never going to get one there. That's one heck of a snipe. But like 16K, yeah, you're not paying the absolute lowest when these were 15,000 coins, or maybe some of you got them on cheap, cheap bids. But like, I'm fine paying that price to just stock it in the club and wait on it. If you realize and know that it's it might be an SBC once again that you have to wait a week on for it to upgrade, uh, upgrade, <laughs> level up in price, if you will, then I think that's okay. You have to be a little bit patient with it. I'm, I don't know, man. I don't know what fodder is going to do in this kind of like latter part of March just because the supply is so crazy right now. But it, fodder has been so low for so long. Like these 89s have not been above 30K. I mean, they have been for like two or three days, like last week. And then they came right back down to 27,000 coins. But like we were used to these cards being 35 to 40K almost all the first half of the year. And they are really, really cheap. I just have to think that there's going to be some sort of time a little bit later on that these are going to continue to go up. So in the long term, it's a good club stock. Maybe today, whatever their icon player pick requires the most specifically, if there's an 88 rated squad, I could see 89s moving a bit. If there's an 89 rated squad, then 90s will move for sure. 90s will move for sure if there's an 89 squad. So just to point that out, um, we'll have to see how much this SBC costs. But all that to say, it's maybe worth a little bit of a club stock. There's still going to be supply on the market from those lightning round packs, but a little bit of a club stock, I think, is a safe way to go about it, to get yourself some fodder in the club. And then Team of the Weeks, I don't think it's worth investing in Team of the Weeks right now um, with the Encore icon going away. That's so much demand for Team of the Weeks. I would just say if you need a Team of the Week card, just hit an 83 plus Team of the Week player pick from doing these, your daily gold upgrades and an exchange or two, right? You're going to very easily be able to get this also from doing the 82 times 20. And 82 times 20 is literally going to allow you to do an 83 plus player pick at the very least. With all the 82s, 3s, 4s, and maybe a couple 85s you get from that, you're going to easily be able to do an 83 Team of the Week at the very least, and then put that into an icon SBC. So yeah, I would say don't invest in team leaks because those are very, very high. And I wouldn't say go all in on fodder unless you want to really risk it or if you're okay to hold for a really long time. Now, another icon SBC that could bring a little bit more demand to the fodder market is going to be a Cloud Makalele SBC today. Now I have to imagine that that is going to be a ultimate birthday version of Makalele. There's no way they're going to put the Centurions version out. The card's like 100,000 coins. Um, Makalele has not had a special for a while. Again, the Centurions was his most latest card. And honestly, I don't feel like this is going to be a crazy expensive SBC today. I think it might be a little bit cheaper of an icon SBC. Maybe less than a million coins, right? Socrates, 1.5. Roberto Carlos, 1.9. Maybe this is right around a milli or like 1.1, you know? So maybe like 10, 11 squads, 
12 squads potentially depending on what the what ratings they go with this could be a really good card though um i remember using makalele moments back in fifa 21 or 22 and i used that card for ages because he was so good there's got to be a five star upgrade to this i really hope it's five star weak foot i mean hopefully they do medium high work rates as well his play styles he has block uh, press proven real and slide tackle and intercept and it is a very good defending card a definite cdm or maybe a little bit of a box to the box we'll see what they release that at today but he will be coming out as an sbc today on sunday alongside of an icon player pick so those are the two biggest sbcs to watch out for today the other thing is we really have to keep an eye out on uh is that evolution guys we still have that evolution that is leaked by foot police and yesterday he updated his leak and he said uh boom obviously rashford's able to be evolved but the evolution that he leaked yesterday should come tomorrow he tweeted this yesterday right so the evo he leaked friday should come today on saturday and that evo once again was the big evo that we've already mentioned a couple of times that gar that gives you the play style plus technical and five star skill moves 91 pace 89 shooting that one right now here's the problem with this a trend that i'm noticing on all these evos this requirement that he lists here does not say a max overall rating and in the last two days all of the evos uh, except for actually all of them yes the the jack of all trades max overall 85 the weak foot peak max overall 85 and the birthday magic max overall 85 i have worries that this is also going to have a max overall 85 inside of it and that would make a lot of these cards that everybody's investing in not evolvable because they're like 87 rated for the torres or like the rodrigo right this card might not be evolvable today if they put that max 85 requirement in there i'm not saying that it's going to be there i'm just saying i'm seeing a trend it's not in this tweet but i'd be careful especially if i was invested in one of those things just to take the safe route, right? So that's kind of what I'm thinking there. Obviously, you want to sell those Evo requirements into the hype anyway. And that is the Evo that we will be watching for Cristiano Ronaldo today. Last night, he was like 8K when we were looking at his card. I think he's still like 9,000 coins. He doesn't... Uh, actually, wait a second. Ronaldo is 86 rated as well. So he would not fit the Evo. Dang. I really hope that there's not a... Uh, 85 rated cap on that so hopefully ea take that off and give us basically the craziest evo yet um but we'll have to see what happens with that so currently right now i'm gonna keep watching the market the market should be pretty good to trade and these cards are very rare and people are wanting to use them man so watch the market today the squad that rewards i don't think we'll mess with things too much i think it should be a strong morning for some of these birthday cards but really it's going to come down to that icon player pick today the makalele sbc and uh, maybe any other surprises that EA float our way. Guys, that's the video for today. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys in a stream today as well. We're going to open up some of these icon player picks. And uh, I got to get to playing some Weekend League with some new cards. But I'll see you guys in the stream today. That link's down below in the description. Peace out.